Hello, everybody. All right, let's talk about the Dallas Cowboys fantasy preview for the upcoming season, a team that Fabs knows very well. We're going to start in the backfield. If you could draft the O-line in the first round, I think yeah, you would in fantasy. But uh, Joe Randall or Darren McFadden in this battle? Uh, easy. It's Joe Randall. McFadden can't stay healthy. He's done nothing in, in up training already. camp. Exactly. So Randall's a guy that I love because of his upside. He averaged over six yards of carry last season. And he is someone that I really think can thrive. He is so quick once he gets that football. Look at these moves that he's made to the end zone against the Chicago Bears. I'm not saying he's going to put up DeMarco Murray numbers from 2014. But can Randall be a top 10 or 15 running back in fantasy this year? Absolutely. Marcus. I mean, I like Joseph Randall to be the starter and probably the guy to get the bulk of the carries. I think it's going to be more of a committee yeah. than Fabs maybe be giving me credit for. And, and I just, the six yards of carry was great last year. I think that number <laughs> comes down a little uh, bit this year. Yeah, so, go, go, go. Look at the go. A guy out of the backfield in Dallas to have, I think Joseph Randall is the lead guy. No, I'm going to advise you to rise and fire. Oh. Gus Johnson. Yeah. Talking about, listen, him. Joey Randall's, he's injured too. Like, True. so these, both, these guys, both these guys have gotten injured in training camp. Miss a little bit of time. I'm going to take a little chance on the rookie. Gus Johnson from mighty Stephen F. Austin. All right. They uh, turn out tons of. Romo, oh, Romo. Wherefore art thou, Romo? Uh, probably at about the eighth or ninth round. Okay. That's where he'll be. Yeah. And he'll be a really good draft bargain. This is a guy that if you wait on quarterbacks like I do, is someone that you target. And also keep in mind that Scott Linehan's offense very quarterback friendly. We saw that in Detroit with Matthew Stafford. Uh, he had a few really good years under Linehan. Romo threw the ball, what, 435 times last year? You're going to see that increase. He should get over 500 pass attempts because Murray is no longer in the mix. I love Romo. He'll be a top 10 quarterback in your fantasy league this year. Adam Rank, where do you rank Des Bryant, and where do you take him in fantasy drafts? He's going to be a top three wide receiver because, as Michael said, they're going to throw the ball an awful lot, and I expect a huge year from Tony Romo. That'll translate to Des Bryant being one of the best. I, I, I say he's a first-round pick. Uh, I go ahead with my number two wide receiver. I think he's going off early in the second round. I wouldn't mind having Des Bryant. Look, Des, Demarius, you know, those guys. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's six of one, half dozen of another, but I, I like Des a lot. All right, there you go. Fabs? Yeah, these guys are right on it. I have him in my top four. Uh, only Calvin Johnson, Demarius, and Antonio Brown ahead of him. He's a stud. No wide receiver scores more touchdowns in the Touchdown last four years. Machine. Touchdowns are huge in fantasy football. Des is a second round lock. He could go in the first round in PPR leagues. I, you know, even in PPR, I can see him catching 100 balls. He's never done it, but I could see him doing it. All right, that's going to do it for our fantasy preview of the Dallas Cowboys. Be sure to sign up for free fantasy football right now. NFL.com slash fantasy. We'll see you.